Hello, hello, it's your girl Liza Koshi and I'm gonna take you through my 10 minute beauty routine. Let's do it. <laughs> So my first step is to take off my glasses and reveal I'm the girl from She's All That and I'm beautiful in high school. But yeah, I take these off, they're not actually real, but they cover my eye bags really well. And then we're gonna start with our first step, which is my foundation, which is, it's me, c'est moi, baby. It's my tinted moisturizing foundation, has foundation, lotion, and boom, bam, SPF. So I get three for one for more the fun. Gotta wear SPF, especially if you're tinted, you know, because we've been raised and told that we don't have to, that we have this protective melanin tint, but you must. So, just a little goes a long way. Let's do a little dots all right. So since we're between summer and winter, my skin tone changes colors like a mood ring, depending on how I'm feeling. So I'm actually gonna be mixing foundations today. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It's thicky, vicky, and it's sticky. So I'm just gonna take a light little touch of this and mix it in with my same one foundation. Bon bon. I don't really, there's no, there's no pattern. There's no rules to this at all. I'm making them up. I'm just putting it wherever I feel like it. Oh, don't, don't come at me for my beauty blender, okay? This is, it's not as bad as this one, okay? This one's nastier, but see, I'm vulnerable and I showed you. But I first started doing makeup when I was about seven or eight years old because I started doing ballet um, and I, was, and still am, honey, a performer. So I started doing the Nutcracker Ballet in Houston, Texas, represent, and I had to wear stage makeup, which was really thick foundation for a little kid, and <laughs> really, really bright blush. So I had to figure out how to beat this face for bright lights. So I started doing that at a very young age, and then I taught my older sisters what's up. So. Cool, so that's all mixed together, then, I think of like doing my makeup as baking a cake and I do my wet ingredients first and then I mix it with my dry. Since this is a really glowy look today, uh, it's gonna be mostly like moist. If that's a trigger word for you, I'm sorry, honey. Next, since we're doing a glowy look, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. This is my Oniofani or one of one uh, collection. And this is my collection, I created this. So it's good and I'm not biased, yes I am. But this is the highlighter that I put anywhere I want a little bit of glow. So, I am so excited about the watch in my one of one collection because it is clean, it is clean beauty. I'm getting a little pop underneath my eyebrow right now. Bada bing, bada boom, bam. Cool. Then I give a little tip to the tip of the nose, just the tip, a little of this bow. So my next step is gonna be also from my collection, my one of one cheek and lip tint. I just got nervous about it because I'm like, ah, y'all are gonna use this. I'm so excited for people to use it. This is a two in one, baby. I'm just trying to lighten the load of your makeup bag and the emotional baggage, babe. I put it on my lips. Put a little bit of this on my apples of my cheeks. I like them apples, I do. Okay, now next step. We have Well People BioCorrect Concealer. I don't know why things sound more expensive when you say it in a French accent, but all this is real affordable. However, it's really hard when you have a mood ring face that changes colors. So I do mix it with my NARS concealer. And I put a couple dots and mix it right in. I actually learned a tip from AOC, my favorite beauty. Um, she taught me to put a little bit of your concealer in the inner corner and then bring it out up here. They really just need it here, here. And since me and AOC are built a little different, I'm gonna put it right there. <laughs> the tiniest bit. Cool. I love a real bright under eye. It just makes me feel very awake. Blend that out with my needs to be cleaned beauty blender. Yes, look at that lift. Yo, you see that glow down? Whoa! Hydration station. This is my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. Like I love and live for a full beat. However, a nice like soft glam can make you just feel so like 
I don't know, relaxed and just in your own power. And it's that quiet confidence that you're decorating on the outside, but just a soft, like just a couple touch-ups. A full beat is like nails clacking, like let's go. Like let's, <laughs> let's party inside alone during pandemic, but let's go nonetheless. You know, like that, I love a good, you know, just whatever reflects what your personality is feeling most that day. I'm gonna go in with this, the crayon case, big fluffy brush. This is an amazing black owned business that I love. They're so creative with their brushes. Look, mine look like little pencils. I love, I love like, it's all in the details. You know, the beauty's in the details. So I'm gonna go in here and just give myself a little powder so I can set my face for my bronzer coming up. Next, I have my beauty counter bronzer in the color Cabana, and I love beauty counter. So then, take a little bronzer, I tap it off aggressively, and then I bronzer up those cheeks. Just the slightest bit. Next, I use the same one Vision palette. I'm gonna go in on Peace, which we are striving for in this world and just brighten up my inner corner of my eye. So this is a trick. Once again, lightening your makeup bag. Once again, a duality, two for one. I love my beauty counter for my crease. So I love just warming up my crease with my bronzer. It's a bronzer, it's an eyeshadow, and you'll see what it's gonna be next. You see how that just warms it up? What? <laughs> Cutie but freaking duty. Okay. Yes, all right. So boom, done. That's my like natural glow for my eyes. Bada bing, bada boom. My next step, we have my brows. And my brows have been the same since seventh grade and yeah you can tell but i'm starting to do it a little bit more natural as i'm leaning into my natural makeup and natural glam today i have i'm leaning more i don't really have eyebrow hairs okay so i really have to draw them on thick and i use my browsing's benefit the wax that i use this is a little wax and this little powder so i draw little hair like strokes with my wax and it kind of keeps it in place too Filling in my brows, my wax. You can see they're already, I kind of just like follow, follow the artificial shape that my girl does for me. Um, my actual eyebrows grow out to about here. It's not okay. I got my dad's jeans. All right, so this is also the crayon case. I love them. They make wonderful vegan brushes too. So shout out to them. And I go in with my powder. I'm gonna tap it off aggressively. And I just fill in a little bit more, not gonna go too heavy because we're doing real natural. Let me brush them up. Bam and done! Real natural, real natural. Next I have my eyeliner. This is my Samoa Fearless. And we put it on our eyes. A fearless. And I'm just putting just the slightest bit. I fill in my waterline. This part impresses my mom. I'm gonna drag it out with an angled brush. Just the tiniest bit. Give me the littlest wing. Pink. And then I do my last move, which is my so clean mascara. So this brand, also clean, also one of my favorite switches I've made into my clean beauty process. Um, oh, hold on, yeah. So this is such good, literally always wet. <laughs> it's so good, it stays moisturized just like my skin. Yeah, so pop that on. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, you see that glow, you see that morning dew? Do you see the dew? You do. I do. Ta-da! That's my zhuzh, my 10 minute routine. And it's pretty clean. Thanks, Laura. this was so much fun. I look good, who's taking me out? Or who am I staying in with? <laughs>